Hi, I'm Kyle. Hey, Kyle. I'm an atheist. Um, hey, thanks for coming. Of course, of course. Um, I love uh, hearing these kind of debates and stuff. Um, you asked why would you be a atheist if you possibly might know if God exists. My answer to that question is simple. It's just the fact that there's so many terrible things in the Bible. Like at one point, um, Jesus says to you know one of his disciples, "It's great that they're you know torturing their." slaves here, but only lightly, even though, even though they did nothing wrong, it's great that they're doing it. He doesn't give any reason to why he says that he doesn't do anything. I don't understand why you would want to follow such a God. My question to you is why you would follow such a God. Okay, let's let's not even look at the context of that passage. Let's just assume what you said is 100% true. Okay? As an atheist, why is that wrong? Why is that wrong? Yeah. Morally, I would think that each and every human being here is the same. We are all we all have the same rights. We all have the same wants and needs. Um, I think we all should do the same. And I think that we should, especially the God that we should follow, should have higher expectations of knowing such a God. Okay, but you seem to be assuming that certain things are really right and people have certain rights, even if there is no God. How do you justify that? What's your standard of rightness? My standard of rightness would be a fair society. What do you mean by fair? Fair. Everything is equal. I personally, I have nothing wrong. I find nothing wrong with a communistic state. That's just my opinion. Um, I don't think it's something you can be afraid of. Everybody seems to be afraid of it. Okay. Um, in the United States at least. But my, that's just my thought of fairness, is the idea that all humans should be the same. We oh, all okay, so it's just it's your thought of fairness. What if Hitler has a different idea of fairness? Is he wrong? He's not wrong. He is, Hitler's not wrong. He is not, well, in a, in a kind of idea that we all have our own opinions, I feel like we should take the utilitary view and go with what is best for the most amount of us. Uh, okay, but what do you mean greatest, by best? What would mean the greatest positives uh, for all, for the most amount of people? Okay, but you're assuming that you're, you're assuming there's a best out there. You're assuming a moral law. Where does that moral law come from? If there's no God, moral law. I personally just think that human beings should be able to make up their own their own laws. I mean, each people in time have found their own moral laws, and I think that they become better and better over time. Better, but you, you you wouldn't even know what better was unless you knew what best was. So I'm asking you, what is your standard of best to say that certain people are closer? to the best or better than others? What, what's the standard? Is it just your opinion or is there something beyond your opinion which says this is good? Well, I mean, we've all heard about utopias and a perfect society and things like that. That would be great in a way, but also we all, we've all seen like the books like uh, Huxley's, I believe, I forget what it's called. But he makes a book on you know, the great perfect world? society. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Um, it's that perfect society that everybody's perfect. Everybody, you know, there's no murder, there's no any of that. Okay, but the question is, and maybe I'm just not stating it properly, what's wrong with murder if there's no God? Why shouldn't I kill other people to get what I want if there's no God? Because it doesn't help society. But why do I care about society? Because we no as a God. group should worry about society. We should be making the betterment of ourselves. But Kyle, you're, you're importing a moral law into a frame that has no moral law. You're, as an atheist, you're trying to say there is no God, which means there is no standard of rightness out there, but I'm saying this is my personal standard of rightness, which would mean somebody else could come along like Hitler or Stalin and say, Kyle, if there's no standard beyond neither you or me, then I can do whatever I want, including killing you to get what you have. That's a very good point. It's a very good point. <laughs> I can see where you're coming from. Um, I don't think that God is needed in the, in a sense of for. I, I'm not looking for perfection. I don't think anybody here is. You know, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for human beings just to simply work together to better society. I don't. I again, I don't really see that need for a perfect identity up above. I don't. Okay, I I I mean. I'm not saying that an atheist can't be a good person. I'm not saying atheists don't know right from wrong. That's not my point. My point is, is that it seems to me it's difficult to justify what rightness is if everything is reduced to human opinion. Which human gets to decide, right? It's just, it's subjective then, as, as Levi was saying before, it's just in my subjective mind. If there's not an external reference to say that this is good and this is evil, then we're all just here and we're fending for ourselves. Now, a lot of people will say, 
and I appreciate your question. It's a very good question. Uh, a lot of people will say, uh, well, we need to cooperate to get along, right? Actually, that's not true. Take somebody like Stalin. He cooperated with very few people, just his henchmen. And he killed 20 million people to, got, to get what he wanted. And then he died on his deathbed at the age of 74, shaking his fist at God one last time. He never paid for his sins on this life. Okay? So the problem, it seems to me, is we know, and you know right, and you know what, what's right and wrong, and I know it too, and I don't need to believe in God to know that. I just need there to be a God to justify it. Let me put it this way. Um, a lot of atheists say, look, I know right from wrong, and I agree with you, you know right from wrong. But that's like saying... I can know what a book says and deny there's an author, which is true. But there would be no book to read unless there was an author. The same is true when it comes to morality. You can know what the right thing to do is and deny there's a God. But there would be no right thing to do unless there was a God. Does that make sense? I guess I can see your point, yes. Let me, would, would, if I gave you a book, would you read it? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Before we go, uh, where's Emma? She's back there somewhere. She'll be at the book table. Let me meet you at the book table and give you a book. Thank you so much. Thank you.